the course. Now I'd like to welcome and congratulate today's medalist. Gold medalist Thomas Pitcock from Great Britain. Silver medalist Mattes Flukiger from Switzerland. And bronze medalist David Ballero from Spain. The floor is open to your questions. There are two microphones from both sides. Uh, please, if you would like to ask a question, just raise your hand and then go to the microphone, introduce yourself and the media outlet you are working for. So please. In Spain, in Spanish, una pregunta para, para David Valero. Hola, David. En, enhorabuena. Bueno, en realidad es un, un par de preguntas. La primera, todo el mundo dice, aquí todos los periodistas extranjeros, ¡oh, qué sorpresa, Valero! Y por lo que ha hablado, para ti no ha sido tanta sorpresa esta medalla. Y segundo, quiero que me cuentes un poco cómo empezaste en el mountain bike. Me han contado un poco que, que tuviste que, que convencer duramente a tus padres de que te dejaran ser ciclista y esto me gustaría un poco que contaras porque muestra tu dedicación para, para conseguir llegar a donde has llegado, ¿no? Gracias. Eh, muchas gracias y bueno, la verdad que eh, al final empecé un poco eh, a los 22 años más o menos a practicar mountain bike, creo que el ciclismo. Eh, antes hacía, pero bueno, era un poco más de de diversión, medio de transporte y todo eso. Y con el paso del tiempo tuve la oportunidad de, de que los equipos me ayudaron a, a competir, a, a ir dedicándome y hasta el día de hoy que, que bueno, hemos tenido grandes resultados en Copa del Mundo, en, también en Mundiales. Ya también tuve la experiencia de, de Río en 2016 con uno, una novena posición y bueno, la verdad que, que más o menos es mi trayectoria. Bueno, sabía que podía conseguirlo en 2017, una edición una gran temporada. Sabía que podía luchar por esa, por esta medalla. Eh, también al ser una parrilla más pequeña con 38 corredores, eh, hace que, que sea más sencilla después de que siempre pegue un poco la salida. Y, y bueno, el clima, el circuito y todo me gustaba. Estaba muy a gusto entrenando estos días previos y, y bueno, yo creo que al final todo ha sido un poco, eso ha ido sobre la marcha, la planificación también, muy buena aclimatación en, en España y, y trabajando, focalizando mucho la luchar por las medallas. Hello, I'm Giulia De Maio from Tutto Beach, Italy. Uh, the question for Tom is how do you feel at 21 years old to be on the top of the world and there is something bigger you can win from now on and for the other two, uh, how it feels to, to see a young guy like that uh, on the top of the world, it's hard to believe, I mean. Shall I go first? Okay. Um, yeah. It's pretty surreal, really. I mean, yeah, I was trying to just tell myself, yeah, to, you know, this week that I'll become an Olympian and, and that in itself, that's pretty, a pretty great achievement. Um, but really, yeah, my, yeah, my goal was to, to win and, but I was just telling myself that to kind of keep myself calm and, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, it's, it's kind of incredible, really. It's, yeah, the Olympics transcends the sport of mountain biking or, or any sport. And yeah, it's, it's incredible, like, to have kind of the whole country behind you, like the national pride and, and people, yeah, getting behind, getting behind everyone in the country, even if they don't, you know, follow the sport or anything. And that's, uh, yeah, it's super nice to be a part of that. Thank you very much. Any other questions?
Hey Tom, uh, Wim Vos from Belgian newspaper at Nieuwsblad. Uh, I know that Kurt Bogarts is playing a major role in your life and in your career. Can you say how important he is for yeah, reaching this gold medal? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he spent, uh, Kurt spent so much time with me now after my crash, uh, working together, planning every single day, you know, like to, to uh, optimize, yeah, the limited time we had before this race and yeah. I think I think it's as much down to him as it is for my hard work. I mean, yeah, I think it all, all looks very yeah pretty and and nice now, but there's so many days of yeah suffering and and hard work to get here. And I think you know these guys and everyone else understands that. And um, but yeah, the yeah, the time he's he's put into me is yeah it's in, it's incredible, and we yeah we go hand in hand and. I think it's, it's as much, yeah, like I said, it's as much down to him as it is me, really. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, any other questions? Hi, Tom, uh, congratulations. Uh, I was wondering, uh, did you witness uh, the crash of uh, Mathieu van der Poel? Yeah, I was behind him. And what, what, was, your, uh, what was your observation? Yeah, I think I was following him and he, he, he went in very slow to the drop and I thought I'm going to just back off a little bit here because this might not end very well. And um, and then when I come over to drop, he's tumbling down, you know, down the on the floor and uh, yeah, it's not nice to see really, but I'm, I hope, he, I hope he's all right. Um, yeah, the, I mean, we were training with the boardwalk and then the boardwalk was not in the race. It looked like he thought it was there, but I don't know what he was thinking. I mean, you have to ask him, but it's, yeah, it's not nice to see on the first lap of uh, Olympics. Were you aware that the boardwalk was, uh, was taken away? Yes, I was, I was aware, yeah. Okay, thanks. Please. Tom. Tom, you're good in everything in a uh, mountain bike, on the road, in the winter, in the cross. Um, are you keep on doing all these things? Uh, yeah, uh, my plan is this year to do the World Cups in America, then take a break and then do the, yeah, the last part of the season uh, from Christmas until the Worlds. And then next year, yeah, I want to target the mountain bike Worlds as well as yeah, road races in between. So. Yeah, for sure, the next year I'll still be doing them all, yeah. The road, are you going to ride the Vuelta or any race in the, 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 the Vuelta. Vuelta yes. Yeah, that's the plan at the moment, but I'm going to enjoy this first. And yeah, I think there's a lot of yeah bitty days, not long until the, the Vuelta. And so, yeah, we'll see how in a week, how much riding I get done. But that at the moment is the plan, but we'll see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, any other questions? Okay, if there are no questions, so thank you very much, guys, for coming here. And we're waiting for you, uh, your journalists, tomorrow. We will have another press conference at the same time. Thank you.